Okay, hi everybody. I'm back. It's a new day for me. <laughs> Maybe like day eight for you guys. Because <laughs> this video is long enough. I'm sure a lot of you are spreading it out. Um, my dog is right here. She's having a hard time deciding where to be. She was happy sleeping on my bed up there until she heard me talking. Um, so still in my bedroom, just a different view. That's a bin of much, of many of my Teresa Wensler whips. Not all of them, but there's some of them right there. That's my extra special Teresa Wensler bin because those are really special projects. Anyway, I'm back for more Mira Fun. So I pulled some whips that sit on top of one of these bookshelves that's further down that way. Like I said before, we do read an awful lot in this household, so my house is full of very cram-packed bookshelves. Um, obviously, when the bookshelves are full, we're still like, oh, let's go to the bookstore and get some more. <laughs> so they're on top. Freya, find a place to be and lay down. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get back at it. So some of these projects that sit on top of a bookshelf, they sit on top because often because like they, they have my, they, um, like they're somehow more special to me or they've grabbed my interest around a lot lately or something like that. So I do need to look up a cover for this one though. This is Villa Marabilia that I just started recently for Maggie, uh, Kitchy Whip's birthday. I've talked about her a lot in the past. There's still almost nothing done. I did start it during a stitch with me. Freya, stop it. I moved some stuff around and she, so she's kind of out of sorts. Um, so yeah, not a big start, but a very big piece of fabric. <laughs> That's okay. She'll get done. She'll, Freya, oh, she's going to drive me nuts. She's convinced she has been for a while that there is something under our like bed that she wants and maybe there is but we can't get it out our bed you saw it, it's like solid it's got those drawers i'm not pulling drawers out to get something she knocked under the bed freya mm -mm. oh i love this freya no leave it lay down lady of the mist I know I started this one probably like two years ago when Stitch and Mommy um, started it. And I got almost nothing done. And I really should get back to it. That's my sad little start. But it's something. Ooh, I wonder what floss is on the edge there. I'm looking for something different to use for Garden Beauty. Freya, stop it. She's like looking for something to do. Um, Garden Beauty also has like, well, it's got like more of a border, but um, there's a Krynik called for to do like a solid line around it on Garden Beauty that I don't want to do. I don't, like that's the only Krynik in the piece. And so I don't want to use Krynik. Anyway, um, Lady of the Mist, I have everything. And obviously it's an actual whip. This is another um, oh. Fern and Gilly or Jilly bag. They come in a couple sizes. I really like them. My puppy is sitting here looking at me like, Mom, this is not Marabilia. This is, this is um, Lady of the Flag. I'm not going to pull up Lady of the Flag. I think most of you. If you're a Marabilia fan, probably, even if you don't like this one, probably know what it looks like. This is on, I believe, a Bestitch Me of some sort. And um, I just worked on it here recently. Got a little bit done up here. Got a little bit more done. Need to do more of her face. But then I saw that... Um, Royal Holiday, you know, that I've done so much of her head face and head, and now I'm like totally in Royal Holiday mode. Freya, that's a diamond painting and it's not for you. Okay, so this I haven't started yet, but um, the Halloween Fairy, I've done the Marabilia Halloween Fairy. 
Um, I'll try to grab a picture of it real quick. I've done it before from the kit and I love how it turned out. Um, who was it? I think, oh, I can't believe I'm blanking on her name, Julie from Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. She, um, because she had a newer kit, if, I hope I'm getting this right. I don't know if Julie watches my channel, but if you do, hi Julie. Um, a while ago she was talking about how like her Halloween fairy kit that she got, the, the flosses were like not what the original colors were. And so she was just coming up with her own colors and doing a conversion. This is what the original looked like. Stop. Um, I am going to do a very different conversion. Um, and I haven't started it yet, but I have this piece of fabric from Garibaldi, I believe. Garibaldi, I just want to say Garibaldi. It's not chocolate. Um, Garibaldi, maybe Needleworks or something. They've got a website. I've always had good luck with them. Their fabric is nice, and I've already pre-washed this. Um, a thing that doesn't make, and this is not a criticism, it's just the way it is. Um, their fabrics, I get the impression, are basically like one color. Now, it's very nice that you can, um, a lot of their fabrics, you can get like a lighter, a medium, or a dark tone of that color. I might be using the wrong words. Shade of the color, um, which is really lovely. Um, this is a 28 count Cashel Swigert linen, orange stripe. Um, but like, I, I think I prefer, I feel like they have more depth and I prefer them more when there's like more than one dye color that's kind of used. Um, not always, but anyway. But this piece I thought would be perfect for, um, to do another Halloween fairy. But what I'm going to do is use these flosses. And I've gone down and written out what I think I'm going to use where. But I want mine to look like substantially different than the original. These are matte flosses from, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, the XJU Designs. I've heard people say XJU or XJU. I don't know how it's pronounced. But these are um, the matte colors. So they're not, um, they're not like shiny. Freya, don't misbehave. Come lay down. They're not, they're going to show up as like shinier because I have this bright light on them. Um, but they're not, they have a very in-person, obviously different finish. They're almost softer. Um, softer like an old cotton t-shirt, kind of soft. Not like silky, like a silk, but and, but like soft, like a nice old t-shirt. Um, they're really nice. I think I'm going to really enjoy working with them. Um, they're each eight, eight meters. I've got a whole bunch of colors here and yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stitch her again and use these flosses and I love playing with color. So I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So that's my Corbett. What's in here? This is that same Winnie the Pooh fabric I was talking about yesterday. Oh, nope. That's a pass. I'm going to shoot my Passiana Recall Mom. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. She has a set of four seasonal fairies, which I want to do all of them. I really, really like them. This is on a, um, oh, there's a truck outside. My dog's going to lose it. This is on another country stitch fabric called Autumn Time. Uh, I haven't stitched on this in a very long time, but that's some substantial work done. On her and like so many of my pieces I really should just finish it not sure when that'll happen hopefully soon okay so now's the main event Let's see if I can do this without knocking my camera off my trunk I have a trunk at the bottom of the bed some people might store blankets in their trunk, stuffy animals, shoes. I have cross stitch and a lot of it. So it's not all marabilia, but um, I'm gonna start going through it. All right, Tree of Hope. 
I have kitted but without fabric. I will probably stitch this on natural linen like it's shown because I, I love the look of that for certain pieces. It looks like I have the beads, the krynik, and the and the shaky and the water lilies and there are so many water lilies. Oh, I'm sorry. There is someone outside. It's maybe a delivery truck. There's been some work going on our street this week. But they're right outside and Freya's losing it. So, very pretty water lilies. This is a bag I made myself. This fabric is by, um, oh, what's her name? I feel like it's her, oh, I don't know. I love her fabrics though. They're adorable. But that's when I made myself. Okay, one down. 800 to go. This is Garden Party. And it looks like I have this fully kitted up with Haunted, which I love, from um, Picture This Plus. A fat half of it so there'll be some left over for something else I've got bead pack and all the plus might still need Krynik if there's Krynik involved and it looks like I need the water lilies I might have them are they already in here? Oh, no, I have I have the Krynik and the water lilies, too. So I'm good to go. Whenever I decide to start that one. Not sure when that'll happen. While I'm doing this, if any of you are like, hey, I have that one, let's do it. Tell, like, yeah, um, I am always up for starting something or working on something with people. Um, I often fall far behind, but I would do my best. All right, this is Elizabeth in the Lavender Sky. I never see this one. Um, it's really pretty, though. And I do tend to be, well, I like, I like the newer Marabellias, too. But lately, I've definitely been on a, like, older Marabellia kick. Like, the, I have this, like, nostalgia for the Marabellias that existed when I first discovered Marabellia, you know, um, I've been wanting to start this one for a while. Almost never see it. I got this one for my kit. This is an Etsy listing. So this one's from a kit and I replaced the kit fabric, I believe. Yeah, I did, but this is a, a like a cream or antique white, probably cream, um, linen, and I just have all the, um, kit materials. It's a bag I made myself. All right, next. Oh, oh this is so stunning. Um, Christmas in London. So stinking beautiful. I have no immediate plans to stitch it, but I wanted to make sure I had it kitted up in case, um, you know, beads and treasures stopped being produced. I've got the fabric for it, but it's just a plain linen. Here's all the floss. And I have a huge bag full of beads. I mean, this thing is so blingy. I feel like this one was really expensive to kit up. It's got a lot of these like teardrops. Oh, so many beads. So, so many. I, there's tons of those teardrops coming up. I got two things stuck together. Some of the larger beads. We've got some of the, what are those called? Probably says right there, bugle beads. Anyway, she's ready to start whenever I decide she needs to be started. This is partially kitted up. I do have some in Ziplocs. This, I have all the beads and I have, I don't have the DMC, but I have everything else for her. Oh my God, Fairy Winter Dream. She's stunning. Oh, I haven't picked a fabric yet. Look at her materials. Oh, so 
so, so pretty. I need to stitch all of them. Yesterday, after I did all that filming and I was like, must stitch all the things, I had almost no stitching time. My husband's out of town just like overnight, but that means all the parenting duties fall on me. I'm not complaining. All the parenting duties fall on him often enough, but um, it just really cuts into stitching time. Um, this next one is Persephone. And I'm going to pull up a picture because the, uh, I just have a photocopy in with the chart. Persephone. I originally was like, mm, I'm going to stitch her without the background. And then I was in the cross stitch store in Columbus that I believe used to be Nora's like local store. And they had a ton of the models on the wall, including the model for Persephone. She was, I think, very new at the time, and I um, fell in love with the background and was like, oh yeah, the, never mind, the, the background needs to happen. So I've got all of our DMC, not in floss away bags yet, but that's okay. I've got the water lilies, and then a ton of beads. I mean, there's just, this isn't even all of them. So I've got everything we need, except fabric. I haven't picked a fabric yet. And I would need to get a little more organized. Because that background is so busy, I would probably pick something like very soft with maybe like, I, I, me, so probably like a slight, a, like a light mossy green, like with just a slight, a color, slight bit of color. And not a lot of modeling. This is another one of those bags from um, Hawthorne Supply Company where you sew it together yourself. It says take a hike. All right. This is Roses of Provence, which is beautiful. And Catherine Needleberry Stitcher finished this recently. Well, not that recently. It's been a little while, but it's beautiful. Um, you should absolutely go check it out. I'll try to remember to link the people I'm talking about down below. Um, here's her bead pack. This is country stitch fabric called Little Boy Blue. I love country stitch fabric. Got all of her DMC. What else does she take? She takes one Krynik and no water lily, and I've got the Krynik. So she is ready-ish. I would want to rinse the fabric. My experience with country stitch fabrics is that they do rinse clear without a problem. Like some dye might come out. I definitely want to rinse it first, um, especially since it's a pretty saturated color. But um, yeah, I would need to do that and get the flosses and floss away backs. Um, which one's this? This is not on your list. Uh, what is this? Not a Maravillia. This is going to be such a mess to put back together. Uh, not a Maravillia. I don't think there's any more Maravillias in this like line. Nope. Lots of fantasy stuff. But no more Maravillias in that little grouping. I can't even see what I'm grabbing. Another bag made by me, Tulip Pink. Um, this one is Deepest Love. That is a long out of print mermaid. Um, I'm gonna look up a picture for you. I really, really hope there are people who love long videos like I think there are. Um, deepest love is beautiful. Uh, I have this is a fabric that I dyed myself, and it's a um, what is it? Did I write it down? Yeah, it's an MCG Textiles 32 count dyed by me. I think it turned out really nicely. Um, my husband's texting me. Um, 
and it looks like I have her floss and beads. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh my goodness. I need to get some Mirabilia's stitch so I can do the beading. I love the beading. It looks like I still need a Krynik, which I probably have, and I have everything else. So that's ready to go. I'm just, you know, take a few minutes to organize if I wanted to get started. I can show you my mess. Ready? I'm going to move you. I've got quilting and knitting. I still haven't, like, cleaned up from surgery. I still have, like, a lot more crafty stuff up here than I normally have. There's just so much. Not... That is not a Mirabilia. This is... This one I've been thinking about, too. She's kind of high on my list to wanting to start soon. Um, mostly because my husband likes it. When my husband likes something... Um, I mean, he supports my stitching no matter what. But, um, you know, when somebody's like, Ooh, I like that, or I like that mom, I'm more likely to want to get one. So there's all the DMC fabric. This is Be Stitch Me. Earth. Oh, it's so pretty. Uh, so again, just like the Eurowera Mist, I think I some. I think Cameron must do this because it does this with, um, there's a picture, Murky. It does this with Picture This Plus Murky. It did it with Eurowera Mist, I think it was called. And now it's doing with Earth. So this is Be Stitch Me Earth. In person, it does not look like there's that much contrast. In person, it's a much softer effect. On camera, I'm like, ooh, like that really stands out. But in person, it's definitely there. But um, I, I, I don't, like, I would not, I would not necessarily stitch this piece on this fabric if it looked like what I'm seeing in the viewfinder because it would be more contrast than what I'm looking for. In person, it's a much softer effect and so much more like my style to stitch a Mirabilia with. So I've got all our DMC, I've got her bead pack, which has charms and everything, her fabric. Let's see if I'm missing Krynik. I'm missing the Krynik. So I have everything except the Krynik. I'm not super worried about the Krynik, even though Krynik, you guys, I should show you my Krynik drawer sometime. <laughs> I have so much crying. Um, a lot of it's that stuff that like I put it on my wish list or I asked to be notified and then I'm like, well shoot, I better buy it because I know it was for something that I can't remember what it was for. And I feel like crying is something I can um, adjust if I need to as well. <sighs> All right, this is Athena. I'm definitely a little conflicted about Athena. Athena. Um, at one point I wanted to stitch her without out all that background. Now I think I kind of do, but I think I originally kitted her up. No, I think I have all of her water lilies. I was going to say, I think I might have kitted her up without them, but I think I have them. Do I? I can check. I have the chart right here. I do not. I need to get more water lilies. No, no, maybe I do, because some of them are listed as blends. I might have them all. Not sure. Um, but I, I do think I'd stitch the whole thing. I just wish Athena had like a different body shape in this. Because I think of Athena as being more like Amazonian and more like, like bigger boned. Which I don't mean as a euphemism. I mean like literally bigger boned. And I feel like in the picture she looks like, um, like a preteen or something. She looks very young and waifish. Um, but that's just how that's just how I picture her. I've got her DMC fabric from Country Stitch. This is Blue Moon, definitely a purple fabric, and beautiful, beautiful. I love Country Stitch's fabric, um, and it looks like I've got all the beads in the Krynik. 
should get the plastic out of here. Dump those in. My dog wandered off. I hope she's not getting into trouble. She usually wants to stay right next to me. She might be watching out the window to make sure nobody attacks our home. Since she thinks it's always imminent. That's lavender and lace. This is a Passione Ricamo. I am very sorry. I am probably not saying that correctly. <clears throat> Water Lily stuck in it. September Sapphire Fairy. I love her. I, she's so different from the others. I just, I love her. I love the dress she's wearing. I have some Package Zweigart. I had a little bit of this stuff. It's gotta be old, very old. And I've got, did she just take the, I don't have, um, well I do have the fabric. Um, just the, she just takes the one water lily and I've got beads and Krynik in here, at least most of them. So she might need a little bit more, but I could, oh, and she needs DMC. I don't have her DMC. Maybe if I stopped buying DMC twice for the same project, I'd be able to <laughs> DMC for the projects I don't have any for. Um, oh, this, so this is Hollyberry. I'll just close that back up. I actually had picked a fabric for this, and I've got the DMC. I had picked a fabric for her, um, or just Holly. She just called Holly. I had picked a fabric for her, but then I actually changed my mind and chose to use it for something else. So she doesn't have fabric right now. Blossom Goddess. So we're going to see Blossom Goddess twice. My daughter decided she wanted to stitch Blossom Goddess with me. Um, but she, um, she definitely wants to stitch on Ada. And we haven't worked on it in ages. Right? But like, you're your kids like mom can we stitch it together of course I'm gonna say yes but I went ahead and got um, an Ada to make it easier for her let me pull up a picture um, she's so pretty so so pretty so I don't so I have it kitted up a second time because I actually kitted it up for me and then my daughter wanted to stitch it, so I kitted it up for us. Um, I think I just need to move. I moved the DMC already. I have beads and water lilies. I'm kind of hoping I just need to move these to the other project bag that has the one my daughter and I have actually started. But since it's me, I might find that that project bag when I get to it. I know it's downstairs. I might find it already has beads and water lily in it as well. Not sure. We'll find out. You'll find out soon. I'll find out in a few days. All right, I gotta check on this because I'm like, do I have two copies of this chart? I might. Queen Mermaid? I bet I do. I'm pretty sure I have this one downstairs. Queen Mermaid. She's an out of print. This, I think, has got to be. It doesn't smell weird. I was going to say it's got to be a pole stitches fabric. Could it be one I did? It might be one. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. Pole stitches doesn't surge their edges either, but it doesn't smell bad like a pole stitches. Sorry, pole stitches. Like, like they smell like, um, uh, like a perfume, like a fabric softener, and I hate the smell. Um, I don't know. I don't know where this fabric came from. I'm leaning towards pole stitches. I've, I've also washed it, so maybe I washed the smell out. I know sometimes I can't get the smell out of pole stitches fabrics. That's all I have in here. I do not have um, any of the floss or fibers or anything. There's beads and treasures I could get. That's okay. I don't need them all ready to 
stitch. That is not Marabilia. I think this might be. Yes, that's a very wrinkled Marabilia. This is, um, it's not under the friendship tree. Ring around the, yeah, ring around the rose tree. And she's fully kitted up. I've got beads. I've got all the, the floss. And I've started her on a country stitch fabric called Fern. It's just this beautiful, soft, like minty green color. The clay by Kim. That's closer to the color, the top part. Sorry about the dinging. My iPad. I do have to keep an eye on the time. I'm going to physical therapy again later. And I was thinking that after this group, I was done with what's up here, but I forgot about the drawers on my side of the bed. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm gonna get to those today, but I wanted to do a little bit in between running errands and other chores I had to do. What is this? At the Met. I have At the Met kitted up, but not started. I love this one though. I'll get a picture for you. Picture of somebody that's stitched. Sorry, I'm moving a little bit. I have her kitted up with. Um, so is Cross Stitcher's Ark still there in Macon, Georgia? I believe that's where it was. Yeah, Macon, Georgia. That's a shop I used to visit when I was working. This is 28 count country French linen. I've got all the floss, beads, crinic, water lilies, all the things. So she is ready to go, and that's a standard fabric. It's not hand dyed, so she's ready to go whenever I decide to do it. This is also a project bag made by me. This was Gilmore Girls fabric. I don't remember, it was being like specially printed. It was like an independent person doing it, I believe. Anyway. Gilmore Girls fabric. Um, what's in here? I think I know what's in here. Yes. Pull the pattern. Queen Bee, right? Is that what it's called? Oh, let me see. Yeah, the Queen Bee. And I'm stitching her on the fabric I dyed myself. And I'm doing her in blue. I saw somebody, I actually saw somebody convert um, Queen Mariposa, look at my enormous start on the Queen Bee. Um, I saw somebody start Queen Mariposa, or do Queen Mariposa in different colors, and then I was like, oh, I need to do that to Queen Bee. I would like her much better in blues and golds instead of reds and golds. So that's what I'm doing. Hopefully it'll work out. It didn't look too hard <laughs> to convert. Famous last words, right? Um, I have all of her stuff, her water lilies, beads, crinic. Although I think I'll have to get there. I remember because I'm doing conversion, I don't remember if I need to convert the beads or not. But that's okay. We'll figure that out. I might keep her out. She, she should be worked on kind of been in the mood for her lately and I'm wondering where how much sometimes I'm wondering how difficult it's going to be to get to things that is not a Mirabilia. this is so I have this in a magazine too this is Queen Anne's Lace I love this one so much um I haven't started it I have natural linen to stitch her on because I think she looks great on it and I've got all of her materials her beads and her water, water lilies crying neck everything so she's ready to go whenever I decide I am. Sorry if you can hear, there's like a mower or something out there. Airplane? I don't know, something's going on. That's another bag made by me. All right, some of this stuff is just, it's not Marabilia, so I'm just moving on. Oh, I just put it back. 
Okay. Which one's this? I'm gonna have to look it up. The Dreamer. Oh, I should get this one out. This one's so beautiful. Dreamer. And I almost never see anyone stitch it. It's older. I want to say it's out of print, although I'm not certain of that. Absolutely love her. It's not, I do not have a big start on it. Respectable. This is a very long and skinny piece. It's a respectable start. <laughs> you can get a sense of what's going on there. Um, and I've got all of her, all of her stuff. Her DMC beads are in here. Got everything, so. She might kinda stay out with a queen bee. The, the project bags that are in this trunk are definitely the hardest to get to because they are usually covered, the trunk is usually covered in blankets and things. <sighs> oh, I'm gonna need to do something about this one. All right, this is the Duchess of Rouen, um, which I've seen quite a few people stitch lately. I actually, if you've watched me before, you know I kind of have this desire to be able to, to, to be happy with my exes stitched um, using the sewing method. Um, this one I decided to try stitching on 36 count over two using one strand. For a Marabilia, I do not care for the coverage of one strand over 32 or 28 count. If I'm stitching something more primitive, it's fine. For something with Marabilia, I don't care for it. Um, so I started this barely there's just a few stitches and actually then I noticed there's a hole in my fabric it's a very small hole down here but it isn't you're not gonna see it but it is an actual hole and um, I know you can fix them I'm not even sure if it's gonna be like in sight I don't know but I gotta figure that out before I like keep going on this but I have everything for her. And since I'm doing her over one on 36, she shouldn't take as much in the way of materials. But she's not really a priority. She's more like a like a pet project. Okay, I do have her twice. <laughs> um, no, no, it was Lilith the Labrador. Never mind. I still might have one of these twice. This is Mermaid Perfume, who I was in love with the second she came out. That tail is so beautiful. You can just see the movement in the water. Still don't know why there's a mermaid with perfume underwater, but um, she's stunning. So this is Haunted, which I've said before is like one of my favorites. It goes with everything. Haunted from Picture This Plus. Even though Picture This Plus, I wish you treated customers better, but... That's why I won't buy her fabric anymore. Um, but I have her bead pack and I've got all of her water lilies and everything. If I see this, I know it came from one, two, three, stitch. All right, this is not a Marabilia. This is, this is Queen Mariposa. have all of her stuff. Does she call for, okay, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. Yes, yeah, she does call for a um, petite silk lame braid. There's another one too, the Opal Fairy, calls for some silk lame braids. That's the only time I've seen Nora use Rainbow Gallery. Well, Whisper, I guess. She uses Whisper, and I believe that's Rainbow Gallery. So I've got all the things for this one. I don't think I have much of a start. 
not very much at all. This is fabric I dyed myself. Um, it's 28 count. And it's not that modeled in real life. <laughs> Again, like it's it's just it's a smoother modeling. Like this part is is darker. They blend better than they're showing on camera. And it's a clay by Kim. Most of my needle minders are clay by Kim. It's such a mess in here. I've been talking for that long. Garden Fairy. Cottage Garden Fairy. So pretty. Oh, I love her. Stitch and Mommy started her too. She takes a ton of Krynik and beads. Tons. Um, so I have, I think I have everything. Certainly have all the beads. I need to hunt down two more. Oh no, some of the, yeah. Might need to get, grab two more Krynik. But I got all our DMC and I think beads and treasures. Um, and I have, I don't think I've started her on either of these. I have two fabric options. This is not going to be it. I can take this out. So this I dyed, well here, I'm going to show you the one I'm going to use first. This is a silk weaver, old silk weaver. Which is beautiful and it's the one that I'm going to end up using. I'm going to show you exactly why. So, you know, I talk about dyeing kind of a lot. Because dyeing is a hobby of mine too. And I dye lots of things, not just cross-stitch things. Sorry, I'm making you wobble. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's see, I think I did, I think, a stitch with me not too long ago. Where I talked about different dyes you can use on fabrics and whatnot. Um, so this is why um, I'm a little more cautious with Rit Dye. This is something that Rit Dye is particularly, in, in my experience, is particularly known for. Um, the dye has migrated away from the fold lines of the fabric. That was not there when I dyed it. Um, that happened later. That happened in, you know, six months or so. And I'd, I'd seen this before, but that happened in, in the time it spent in the bag. That doesn't mean the fabric isn't usable, but I would use this for something else. I'm not going to use it. This is a Lugana. And I don't know, this is one of the Luganas, opalescent Luganas, um, that one, two, three stitch. They sent me some opalescent and some plain Lugana that wasn't what I ordered because I ordered casual linen. This is some of that that I played around with, and it's still definitely usable for something, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to stitch Cottage Garden Fairy on it, looking like that. Um, I, in all likelihood, will use it um, in smaller sections so that that becomes more of like a natural feature, <laughs> as opposed to like, oh look, she must have had the fabric folded there at some point. <laughs> and I'm going to try to fold it a little bit differently even though that might get more lines. So yeah, some dyes will do that. Um, but I've had LNS store owners tell me like, you're not allowed to, to fold your fabrics. That's literally the only fabric, and they say for because dye will do that. That's literally the only piece of fabric I've ever had do that. And it wasn't touching any plastic in there. Um, so obviously not all writ dyed fabrics are gonna do that. It's my understanding it's much more common with writ dyed fabrics than like the Procyon dye fabrics that I talked about. Um, in my Stitch With Me video, I talked more about that. Um, so it's not like a huge risk, right? It's just a thing that can happen. Um, that's all. Just, I think you should be aware of it. Um, this is not a Marabilia. This is a Nora Corbett. This one is, which one is she? Miss 
black swallowtail. And I have her all ready to go. This. I don't, oh no, I, I started her. <laughs> I don't think I knew that. <laughs> Maybe she's written on my list that I started her. I want to say this is a picture of this plus that I got off one, two, three. When I have a small cut like this, I must have got it off one, two, three stitch. Because when I order from a dyer, I order bigger pieces. And I've got, looks like everything, crinic beads, all the good things for that. I, oh, 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 I was wondering where this, I want to keep this one out. <laughs> this is, um, games, what is it, Royal Games, one and two, but what I'm doing is I'm stitching that, I'm just stitching the blue queens, or black queens. Um, I just like the, the tealy, bluey, purpley colors a lot more, <laughs> and so I'm going to stitch just them, and I went through and pulled out the colors that I need. And I compared their like lines and they're not exactly like the, the like the transition line between the black queen and the red queen isn't identical in the two, but almost so. So I'll be able to, to work that out. I think there's just like one or two stitches I need to adjust. Um, I have the beads and I just went through it's possible I made a mistake that I'll have to deal with later but I went through and like picked out basically it was like red or pink bead I don't need it <laughs> um but blue green black kind of beads I assumed I needed I didn't like go through the whole chart but um this is just a plain opalescent white um linen that I'm gonna stitch on 28 count I don't, this one makes me giddy with excitement. I don't know why. Um, we have this unfinished basement at our cabin that one day, probably very far in the future, we're going to finish. And there's going to be, it's like the whole footprint of the house and it's walk out on the back. So there's like a beautiful French doors and windows and everything. Um, we, we're going to put a bedroom down there for guests and then make like a big game room. My family loves gaming, video gaming, board games, card games, Dungeons and Dragons, like you name it. We love it. Um, so this needs to hang there. That's that's my plan. My husband's also making a tiki bar for that space because my husband's like gone into all things tiki. This I've been looking for, but it's not, not Mirabilia. It's Harry Potter. What is this? What is this? Oh, she's so pretty. Um, what is her name? July's Amethyst Fairy. And I do not think I have her materials. I have her beads. What other specialty materials does she take? I do not have her Krynic or her DMC. I have most of her beads. And apparently I'm going a little funky with this one. Because I, and the reason why this pull stitches fabric is still in the plastic is because pull stitches, I'm gonna take it out. Put the label on the plastic. It's very frustrating. And I, this is a Lugana too, I think. Sometimes I buy their fabric. Oh, <laughs> if you could smell. <gasps> it just like hit me <laughs> when I opened the fabric. And it's, we don't use fabric conditioner, fabric softener in my household at all. Wow, that smells bad. Okay, this I'm keeping out so that I can wash it. <laughs> um, and again, I would say it's a little bit more softly modeled than what it's showing on the, the viewfinder. Um, that's a bit of a crazier fabric for me, especially with the pink, which I don't usually do. Um, but I think she'll look really nice with it. So, oh, there was more beads in there. I think I have all of her beads. I need to get her DMC. Super, super stinky. My goodness. All right, well, I'll keep that one out. Just a wash. <laughs> um, what is this? This is a pixie. 
Which one are you? Lady Slipper. Let me pull up a picture. This is going to be such a mess to put away. Nora, Corbett, Lady Slipper. She's beautiful. So I have a fat. Oh, I've started her. It looks like I was practicing sewing method with her too. I don't know if I dyed this one myself. No, I probably didn't. It looks like it's been ironed. It looks like something I would dye. She started apparently. And yeah, I've been using the sewing method with her. I think I've got all of her stuff, although I haven't put it in floss away bags yet. I must have started her on a whim and was too lazy to get up for the floss away bags. I think I've got everything. Let's see if she takes any crying. Oh, I need to get one of the Crynex, but I have everything else. <sighs> She's pretty. I gotta scooch forward to get these others. I'm gonna try not to kick you. That's where those were hiding. in here. Stash diving's fun. That's a Teresa Wensler. And I feel like it should be with my Teresa Wensler stuff. That's a Thea Gouvenar. This is... Oh! What is the name of this? Victorian, Victorian Christmas Eve. All right, Nora Corbett, and I feel like most people are not aware of this one. Um, she published this design, Victorian Christmas Eve, in a magazine years ago. It's beautiful, and I need to leave this one out because it's the season. Um, I think you can get it as a download at Hershner's now, which I did, even though I have it in the magazine. She's beautiful. I'm sorry. That's such a like pretty picture, but I have her fully kitted and I'm working on her. This is an old silk weaver. Oh, that's a pretty clay by Kim. Ooh. I think that's like her hood and it's part of the archway up above her. Um, yeah, she's beautiful. Keep her out. I don't know why I'm in such a Christmassy mood. But I have all of her stuff. I say I have all of her stuff, but I'm not hearing any beads jingling. At one point, I put her together as like a travel project. And I might not have got done the beads. I'll have to look, look when I start working on it again. I don't have the whole thing printed out, so I need to go into the file on my phone. Um, to see what other materials I might need. Okay, this is the last one for this segment. It's Aphrodite Mermaid. And I believe I started this one with Maggie. I think she and I were chatting one night. I was like, oh, I feel like starting something or, you know, just moaning. And she's like, how? I don't know. We were like, oh, how start Aphrodite Mermaid. Okay, I have that one. Yeah, let's start it. I don't know. I only worked on it the one day. Um, and where are my stitches? They're over here. Here's my stitches, which I know look like they're blending in now, but that's in the middle of her tail. That green is like in the middle. She has these much stronger colors along the outside. So, um, I think it's going to look great when it's, um, like when she's actually filled in. <sighs> okay. And I have all of her stuff. Beads, Krynik. Look, she takes so many Krynik. Beads, Krynik. All that good stuff. Alright, I'm going to try to clean up. 
I might do one more segment before I go to PT. I'm not sure. We'll see. I'll be back. All right. I'm going to see if I can power through. I've got about 20 minutes before I have to leave for my appointment. Start shouting at me if you see that cutting close to 10 minutes to 12. Okay. Summer Queen. I do not have two copies of all of the queens. I just do Winter Queen and Summer Queen. Uh, I have not started her. <laughs> I think it's like a jumble in here. Um, oh, Hand Dyed by Stephanie. I love Hand Dyed by Stephanie fabrics. This is Kaleidoscope. And I've washed this. It wouldn't be this crinkly if I hadn't washed it. Um, oh, because then I like reattach the tag using a um, safety pin. Kaleidoscope is beautiful, and I think it's going to show off her colors. Absolutely great. And I have, I think I have everything. I don't have the floss and floss away bags yet, but I do have the floss, and I have the beads and things. There's more in here, quite a bit more. So she's ready to go when I choose to. I think I washed that kaleidoscope not because I was about to start it, but because I often wash things when they're um, like new. Bluebell, I don't know if I have two copies of this or not, but here's Bluebell. I've got her ready. Nope, I need to get her DMC. This is a pole stitches, I believe. It's got to be. I must have washed it. might have been meant for a specific design, but I'm doing Bluebell on here with the sky at the top, presumably. And I have all of her specialty stuff. I have her beads and her water lilies and her Krynik, but I need her DMC. I need to make a photocopy of that when I go to start it because that pattern is worth something. What is this? Oh, this is a uh, Lady of Mystery. Where are we at? Which I went crazy for when it came out. Um, oh my goodness. There's Lady of Mystery. Um, I somehow never quite got around to starting, which I really should. This is Changeling from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. Love her fabrics so much. Um, the the mul like she does multiple colors in one fabric, at least as well as any dyer, in my opinion, um, if not better. I think her fabrics are are stunning. Um, I've got DMC and I know I have the beads, but they're not here. So they're probably down in my stash. I remember getting them and thinking, oh, I need to put those away. And then apparently I never did. I think her water lilies are downstairs in my stash too and fell to the same issue. I think I'm going to get to film this, but I don't know that I'm going to get to clean up until later. What's in here? Oh, okay. This is White Christmas. White. It's the lady in front of the window. And I actually would like to stitch this a couple of times with like different color, different colorway for the dress. I love her. She's beautiful. I don't know which way is up. I think this way is up. Um, this is uh, opalescent Lugana. Just white Lugana. Um, and I just started her dress some there. There's a lavender and lace in here that I don't think I'm going to do now because I bought it fully stitched. It's on Monaco. I need some progress on Wait, I'm showing you the back. That's Christmas Visit, I think it's called, from Lavender and Lace. 
could make a good like travel project just to like keep hands busy or something. I don't believe this is anything marabilia related. Nope. Nor is that. This is, what is this? Raven Queen, which I have not started. I do not know when I'm going to start it. And you guys have probably seen this one a lot. Um, and I, I've seen it a lot, which is probably why I'm not in a hurry to stitch it right now. I also, with this one, have gone back and forth on whether or not I want to stitch the background. Oh, apparently I've started it. <laughs> I don't even know. That looks like part of her shoulder. That's, or her, or her thing on her head. Nope, not on her head. I think that's part of her shoulder of her dress. And my dog comes back. And I think that's an old silk weaver fabric. And I've got her fully kitted. One minute. Lay down and I'll take you in one minute. And it's a good thing my dog can't tell time. Oh, I'm getting a spam wrist call. Lay down. Lay down. Okay, this huge bag is for the um, In My Garden series. I'm not going to pull up a picture of that. Well, I might pull up one of them. One of them I have started. I have really a lot done. <laughs> I finished Winter in My Garden and gifted it um, to my mother-in-law. I plan on stitching it again for myself. This is Wishel Natural Linen. Lay down. One minute. Um, I, that's a lot more. Than, okay, so this is the one that I did, but I have no memory of doing that like at all and I know I must have stitched that like 15 years ago or more but I still should remember that's like a lot <sighs> anyway there's autumn in my garden winter in my gar garden spring and summer they're actually um there's more stitching in them than you might think but they're not as stitching heavy as a lot of Mirabella is um they have like a more minimalist appearance have them in a ziploc and I, I kitted them up as one. So here's all the floss and everything. Sorry, my dog's sitting in the stand. All the floss and everything to stitch all of them. Freya, lay down. Lay down. Can you give me a minute? Which one is this? Oh, this is um, Persephone, not Persephone, Andromeda. I'm going to show you Andromeda and then I'm going to take my dog out and then I will come back and hopefully still have time. And if not, I can finish up later. Andromeda is a long word. One minute, Freya. So there's Andromeda. I have her on Mithril. Okay, if I pick one fabric to stitch on for the rest of my life, it would be Mithril from Country Stitch. It's so beautiful. I wish I'd gotten married in a dress this color. Oh, stop it. I'll be with you in a minute. And I've got everything. I, she's really small, too. I haven't put things in floss away bags, but I've got all the DMC. And I've got all the Krynik and beads in there. So she could be started. I would need to rinse the mithril. Because country stitch fabrics can bleed some, but not, not overly much. All right, I'm going to try walk my dog and hopefully be back in a minute okay I'm back got about 10 more minutes <sighs> three for tea I know I have this one kitted up more than once because I want to stitch it as charted and I also want to stitch it as or with a conversion I think this is the one I want to do is the conversion have to look at the floss though um, I want to do it with the Firefly Fairy colors, like from Sleeping Beauty, um, you know, Fauna Flora and Meriwether, like one blue, one pink, one green. Is that right? I think that's right. But um, that means, so I don't remember which one this is. All right, hold on. This is, this must be the one that I'm going to do as charted because I've got, um, well, I think it's the one I'm going to do as charted. I just need to switch. So when I do one blue, one pink, one green, I'm gonna do like blue and green and pink in the middle. So I have to convert everything. And then I wanna stitch one as is. No, this is the conversion because I've got lots of blues in there. 
I could look at my chart. Yeah, so I like wrote all over my chart. I'll hold that down. So there, I like wrote the conversions and everything. So this is that I intend to do. I mean, who knows if it's gonna work out, right? But it's fun. It's um, it's playing. It's playing with color, and it's beautiful. So it's okay if it doesn't work out the way intended. So I'm just playing. Here's Petal Fairy. She is beautiful. I love her. I've got all of her stuff. I have not started her, I don't think. This is a Lugana. Apparently I started her. She got started. <laughs> she didn't get much of a start. Oh, this way up. She didn't get much of a start, but she got started. <laughs> Okay, she's a whip. She's like good, I guess, since this is supposed to be like a whip parade, right? I'm gonna have to put this stuff back later. My husband's gonna come home while I'm gone and be like, what happened to our bedroom? I had to put all the blankets and stuffed animals on the bed to make room for, um, to open the trunk. So I have this one as a whip, which you'll see some other, what will be some other day for me because it's downstairs. I have a significant amount of her stitched as a whip, um, but I wanted to stitch her again on a different fabric. I haven't picked the fabric yet, but I have DMC pulled for her because a lot of the colors will need another one. So, um, and then I'll just move like leftovers from the other one to this one when the time comes. I don't think there's any Marabilias in here. These are mostly like Halloween and fall stitches. My dog is looking at me like, what is going on? So these are um, Night Nymph and Day Nymph. I do intend to stitch them using the Valdani's. Now, I've used Valdani's from the skeins and from the balls and never had a problem. I was talking to some people about this the other night, but apparently some people are having a lot of trouble. I never had a problem. But I also, do, my Valdani's that are on, that are three stranded, I separate the strands and they look great. Like, I, I don't know, apparently you're like supposed to use them all three strands together. I never do. Um, so this is Night Nymph. I have this darker hand dye by Rolanda. In Day Nymph, I have a lighter one. My thought was they look very similar, but like a night, night and day version. So, yeah. That's my plan for that. That was also something I was thinking I was gonna start while I was recuperating from surgery, but never quite got to. That's okay, it'll be sitting here waiting for me when I'm 582 years old and finally get around to it. I'm also gonna get this out of plastic. Ooh. This is Sabrina. This is gonna smell awful when I take it out. This is a pull stitches. One thing I like about pull stitches is that you can order a 25 by 10, 27 inch cut. <sighs> Stinky. This is Cashel. And that's not a good representation of it. It's much more like periwinkle blue. It's opalescent, but it re again, the modeling isn't as harsh as it's appearing on screen. Um, and it's much more of a like periwinkle blue kind of um, fabric. And I have all of her DMC. I got some beads. Looks like I have most of the beads. I might not have all of them. I do not have the water lilies. Unless I have them in stash. I need to get on that. <sighs> okay. We'll be finishing later. There's no way. Um, this one the Siren and the Shipwreck. I've got her kitted, but I don't think started. Okay. 
I don't know where this fabric came from. I did not dye it. But I think she's going to look good on there. It's more dramatically modeled than I usually go for. But I think it'll look good. And I have all of her stuff. I made sure to get her stuff because of her, like her beads and everything. There's just so much. So many beads and treasures. All of those there are beads and treasures. Um, it's a lot. I've got her Krynik, her water lilies, and all of her DMC. So she is ready to go when the mood strikes. These are some that I've just matched up a pattern with a fabric, but I haven't kitted up more than that. Um, this one is, um, which one is she? Zinnia. And this is a hand dye by Rolanda. Um, Alma fabric that I have for her. And I, so I just like open them up and put the fabric in there. Sometimes, so that they'll stay together. This one is Lily of the Valley. Is this the one that Lisa just started, Cross by Floss? Stitch that on this. Also a hand dye by Rolanda. By Rolanda. Lately I'm hearing people say Rolanda. So maybe I'm supposed to be saying it that way too. However you pronounce your name, Rolanda or Rolanda, your fabric's beautiful. Thank you for making it. I love it. Um, this one is Bleeding Heart. And this is fabric I dyed myself. I really like because there's just that hint of green in her. I think everything will really pop. Oh, hi, Bewitching Pixie. I wonder if this is one I have in the other bag of kitted up pixies because I honestly don't remember. We'll find out. So I'm just trying to get the fabric in there. I don't even know why she's. I, oh, I know why. She had the fabric I'm doing. Marabilia's the Norcorbit's Dragon on from Patreon. I had originally marked with this and then I couldn't move around the house right after surgery so I grabbed the fabric from her to do. So that's why. I gotta, I gotta do something with her. And then this is December Blue Topaz Fairy and I have a country stitch fabric called Vineyard. This is more of a ready purple. It's really true to color right there. Um definitely need to pre-wash that but that's what I'm gonna do her on since she's more of like bluey purple tones I think and like lighter colors I hope and I think she'll look really good so this this is a bag from REI <laughs> that I just have some in okay one more and then hopefully I'll do some more after I get home and get cleaned up from the gym um this is Garden Prelude, which is beautiful, um, and it came out around the same time I just started learning how to play the violin, but I've seen so many people do it now, and I'm kind of like, mm, not in the mood. I will be in the mood again. I'm just not right now. This is an MCG Textiles. It's an MCG Textiles blue fabric. I'm double checking now. I don't know if I'm going to end up using it or not. It's hard to tell how even it is. If it's uneven, it's only a little bit uneven. Mm, I think that's uneven. So I'm not going to do it on that fabric, but you know, I have tons of other fabric. So I'll have fun one day picking a different fabric for her. And it looks like I have all of her stuff, all her beads and water lilies and all that, all that sort of thing bag I made myself. All right. I'll be back hopefully today and then I'll clean up the mess. Okay. Hi everybody. Um, I'm back. Went to physical therapy, showered, new clothes, still Monday, November 21st. And I think I've decided you guys probably have already figured this out. I am going to finish the bags I have here, which isn't too many. They're, these are, I'm going through now, the projects that I've been keeping in the drawers on my side of the bed. 
I'm gonna finish those and then I'm gonna upload this because this is gonna I don't even know if there's like a limit to what you can like the length of your videos you can put on YouTube but this is gonna be seriously pushing it I feel like Stitch and Mommy's floss tube her whip parade here was three hours or almost three hours um, I don't know I just I don't know if there's like rules um, so this next one is Merchant Mermaid and so she looks not like that she looks like this now I'm doing it without the Mill Hill and without this I'm just gonna improvise hopefully it'll turn out well and fill in the tail there um, and I won't do like the box around it I'm tempted to do it but I'm not going to so this is on, this is fully kitted up. I have all the materials, beads, water lilies, everything. I hear my dog coming. My husband's wandering around too, so you might hear him. Um, here we go. Wait, nope. Where? What is going on? There we go. Because <laughs> her tail like wraps around behind her. I'm like trying to figure out anyway I love the colors on this so so much it's a clay by Kim Middleminder I haven't spent much time on this one but when I've worked on it I have absolutely loved every second so I would really like to get back to this at some point and that, that's a fabric I dyed myself it's a 28 count casual linen I really like how it turned out I usually like how my fabric turns out. I've had a couple of stinkers, but for the most part, I've been happy. Because if you don't like it, you can just keep adding color until you do. All right, this one is not a whip, but it is kitted, at least partially kitted up. This is October Opal Fairy. This is the one that I had noticed had the the, the petite lemme braids. Okay, there's like multiple cards of each of these. I don't know how many it actually calls for. Sometimes I've been known to overbuy, so I don't know if it actually calls for that many, but there's at least three colors of petite lemme braid. I do not have the DMC, but I have, it looks like the Krynik. The beads. Oh, I don't know if I have all the beads. She has a huge bead list. I don't know if I have all the beads. I might. Oh yeah, I do. They were just, they were bundled up in the fabric. This is a pole stitches that I've already washed. Doesn't smell anymore. Um, it's actually, that's like looking purple. It's not. It's Sorry, I whacked my trunk with my bracelet. That's a little bit better. It's definitely blue. Again, I feel like the camera is making it look like there's more contrast in it than there is. That's a pole stitches. And October Opal Fairy. She's pretty. I love her. I love like the wildness of her. Everything kind of like blowing. This is, I don't even know how to look for it. Well, let me see what it's called. Oh, no, 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 I, this isn't what I thought it was. These are the um, Laguna Mermaids. Um, there's two of them. There's like a sunrise and sunset, I think. Laguna Mermaid. There's both of them. There's the two mermaids. I have them partially kitted up, only like very partially. I bought the water lilies. I think um, when I decided I really was gonna wanna stitch them at some point, I was a little nervous about, um, I was at some point in the pandemic and I was nervous about water lilies and dye lots and all that kind of stuff. So I went ahead and got those. Um, I don't think this is, nope, that's lavender and lace. 
This one is Miss Apple. Nope, Golden Girl Apples. They started with Maggie Kitchy Whips. She like took off and got a ton of it done. I'm not sure where her stands right now. I got like nothing. I was like really feeling like starting it. And then once I'd started it, I was kind of like, okay. This is a um, Monaco. That's all I have. Part of her dress, but still a start. You know, I've been hearing some people talk lately about how they don't like starting new projects. Thinking maybe that if some people, if some of the people who don't like starting new projects, maybe teamed up with people who love starting new projects, we could start the projects for you, and then you could finish them. There might be something in that. Um, this one, what is this one? Portrait of Veronica. That's right, because Veronica X Stitch has done this one. She has. I'll try to remember to link her channel. She's got a great channel. I haven't seen any videos from her in a while. I don't know if that's because I haven't seen them or if she hasn't posted them. She's beautiful and full of my favorite colors. I have, this is just a Wishel Water Lily linen, like that light gray color. Is it Water Lily? Yeah, it is. And I believe I have her fully kitted up. She doesn't take that much. Uh, I mean, she's huge but very limited like color palette and stuff. And I've got her crying in her beads. So she's all ready whenever the inclination strikes to start her. This one is Ca uh, Castle Woods. Um, it's not Castle Woods. I put a play by Kim in here. Cathedral Woods. Oh, I'm thinking Castle Woods. I'm making sense. This Cathedral Woods Goddess, um, I lost my mind for her when she came out, um, but also seeing like a lot of people working on her, which I enjoy seeing people work on her, but it makes me more inclined to like put mine off for another day. Apparently I started her. I didn't think I had. I did not know I'd started her. And I have no idea what this fabric is or where it came from or anything. I don't know if I've, oh, I have a label. It's a hand dye by Rolanda fabric. And it's beautiful. That's all I've done. Well, now I'm like, now I wanna work on her some more. <laughs> because some, I've been like, oh, I'm not gonna work on her. I've been seeing a lot of other people work on her. I'll just won't start mine yet. But it started. <laughs> If it's already started, I could work on her. I don't like, uh, so, well, this is a little bit better. Like, if I hold this really close, I feel like all you see is the opalescent, and it's not that, like, obvious in real life. It's more of, like, a pleasant twinkle and not, like, a in your face, I'm on, you know, glowing kind of thing. Okay, apparently I started Castle Woods Goddess. <laughs> I think I have everything for her. Uh, I told you I don't store this information in my head. Um, Krynik, beads, and she has a pretty limited color palette too. So I got her DMC. She has a lot of beads and treasures. Put it in there. Okay. This one's Lady Justice, which I haven't done much on. I think she's absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this piece. She is stitched on a very old silk weaver. Um, again, I haven't done, haven't done much on her. That's it. And I still got white hanging. Um, this, I don't know, the color's not coming through great. It's a very pale purple. I think I'll set off the, the blue and the green, like the chartreuse green. Well, and I should have everything for her. Let's see, I have a tag for the fabric. The fabric is Meditation from Picture This Plus. And, um, yeah, got beads, kind of. DMC. 
in my Scooby-Doo bag. This fabric came out a few years ago. Made the, the bag myself. Three more bags to go. Okay, Emerald Mermaid. Oh no, there's more than three bags. I forgot there's a few back here. I don't have that many more to go. Emerald Mermaid, you're going to see twice. I have, so this is how I kitted Emerald Mermaid up the first time, okay? I have this old silk weaver, which is beautiful. Blues and greens, right? Very, like, kind of traditional choice for a mermaid. And then I have all of, I think, all of her materials here. I got her fully kitted. I've got floss, beads, chronic, everything. Um, I'll show you the other one while I'm thinking about it. It's right behind me. I also, and I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about this, but I, um, the idea got in my head to do her on a very dark fabric, just like I'm doing Titania on black. She'll end up being shown in part two or something. Um, but I wanted to do something similar with a mermaid, but also didn't want to quite choose black again. Um, so I got navy blue. So I have Emerald Mermaid also kitted up and as a whip on navy blue. And I might need to do some changing to some of the colors to make some things turn out the way they should. And it looks like I have the beads. I can get the beads in the chronic here too. So I took her with me to Hawaii. So she was like all kitted up. Oh, I don't know what to do with things. Um, what's this? Oh, Echo Lake. I love Echo Lake a lot. When she came out, I knew I wanted to get the materials for her so that I'd be able to stitch her, but I also knew I wasn't going to be starting her anytime soon. Another Fern and Gilly free pattern. Um, so I got the Krynik and the Water Lilies. Because uh, this is one, this is particularly one where I'm like, okay, you need to, the colors need to be right. Um, I didn't want to like be messing around with, with a lot issues years down the line. Um, so I got the bead pack, I got the Krynik and the Water Lilies, but I haven't picked a fabric or a, um, or gotten the DMC yet. But, um, I, and I would pick a pretty neutral fabric. I don't know if I'd necessarily pick that specific one, although it looks fine. There's so much going on there. I wouldn't want a fabric to like compete with it. All right, I don't think I've started this one. Um, November, is this November? Hold on. Yeah, November Topaz Fairy. Sorry about the ring light. I remember when this one came out, feeling like it caused kind of a stir, like it was very different than those that came before it in some way. Okay, she takes a ton of stuff. I was just like glancing at the back. 14 packages of one of the beads. Like what? I don't, I don't know if I have all those or not. Um, DMC. All right. I do not have that many. <gasps> but now I know why. <laughs> I'm so lame. I totally know why I this is one of the mystery things that like so see those treasures that like at some point like I actually one two three stitch actually contacted me and they were like hey you ordered these like 18 months ago we finally have them back in stock do you still want them and I was too scared to say no so I was like yes and they sent me like another six packages of them or something I'm thinking they must go to this <laughs> because it requires so many packages. I don't know. Anyway, there's there's still more to procure here. I have some of the beads, some of the Krynik, all of the DMC. Um, I'm definitely not as like worried as I would have been at one time about having to 
make changes. This is I want to say this is Be Stitch Me, but I'm not positive. It feels Be Stitch Me ish to me. I can think of a lot of designers it's not. I'm getting a phone call. All right, so that was November Topaz Fairy. I want to be cleaned up before my daughter gets home here shortly to shower too from school. So this is Elizabeth that a lot of you guys know I'm stitching in hand using the sewing method. I've got her all kitted up and of course she's a wrinkly mess and will be until and unless I finish her. Is I want to work on all of these. This is fully kitted, including with some reading glasses. I'm pretty sure that's because she, well, no, she didn't go with me to Hawaii, so I don't know. Um, I got all of her beads and floss and everything. Um, I'll show you what she's supposed to look like. She's very vibrant. And I'm loving using her for purposes I am right like practicing she's just she's like so many just giant blocks of color she's very easy to kind of veg out with all right this by the way is what at least for the moment I've decided is my retreat bag um, that I'm gonna take with me since I've still never been to a stitching retreat um, but I have it kind of packed for Okay, because I'm crazy. <laughs> I'm going to Still City Stitch Retreat, and it's not until March. And I'm, like, ready to go. I'm just weird like that. All right, this one is Ella, the frog princess. Let me get a picture for you. She's beautiful. I don't, like, yellow is one of my least favorite colors, but I seem to stitch a lot of it, but I feel like Nora seems to design an awful lot of it. Um, this is Hand Dye by Rolanda. It's Lugana, 28 count. Not a lot done. Or, sorry, Hand Dye by Rolanda, maybe? Um, not a ton done. But a respectable start. I'm very happy with her. This is a bag I made myself. This was like my test bag. The first one I made and I wanted to see if I'd actually like it with less, like with the, as a more floppy bag. And I did. So, and I have all of her stuff. Got her beads and DMC and all, Krynik and all that. I also sometimes make, this one's not, this was also a test. The button's a little <laughs> askew. I make all kinds of little pouches and things to carry stuff in. So I've got, I don't have a needle in here at the moment because it's on the piece. Um, but I've got a needle minder in here. I've been stitching this one hand lately, little scissors. Keep, keep stuff in my little pouch. And I'll, um, I'll like string needles through here, like there. I do that a lot. Okay, I have a lot of cleaning to do. Um, I'm going to try to post this. Assuming this goes up like here in the next day or so before Thanksgiving of 2022. Do not look for the next part until the week after Thanksgiving at the earliest. Um, I'm going to film at the cabin. I don't know how long that's going to take. I I want to say I don't have a ton of projects, like Marabilia projects there. Um, I certainly don't have a lot there compared to what's here, but I, I, I just don't know. Um, so I will probably, this is going to be at least a two-part. This Marabilia Whip Parade is going to be at least a two-parter, and it may be a three-parter. I won't even rule out it being coming a four-parter. Um, 
So anyway, if you see this before Thanksgiving, have a happy holiday. If you see it after Thanksgiving, I hope you had a happy holiday. I know that the, the audience for this video is probably pretty narrow, but for those of you out there for whom this video, you are the audience for a video like this, I give it to you joyfully. I hope you get as much enjoyment out of watching it as I know I would. Um, and have a good holiday, guys, and I'll hopefully be back soon with part two.